begun to clear protesters from the streets of Hong Kong. Campaigners, mainly students, have been there for two months now. They're calling for free and democratic elections in Hong Kong. But the ruling Communist Party in China says it will have to choose the candidates. Well, Tom Grundy is a journalist in Hong Kong. He joins me now. Tom, uh, what's the situation like there at the moment? Well, it's just after midday here. Police haven't yet moved in. Uh, bailiffs, or rather representatives from a bus company that bought a court injunction uh, against the, the Occupy area, have begun to uh, sweep through the site, removing some of the uh, barricades at the western end of this uh, Occupy camp around government headquarters. Uh, and around 7,000 police officers have been mobilized today in uh, two shifts. Uh, they will surround the site at, at some point and uh, slowly move in from all directions towards the main stage at the uh, heart of the uh, camp and uh, there are still hundreds of protesters around and there are signs everywhere saying uh, we will be back. And the authorities uh, gave a deadline of uh, I think three hours ago didn't they for uh, the protesters to uh, to go home um, so, but, but still some on the streets? That's right um, many I've spoken to uh, say that they wish to remain until the police uh, come and confront them. Uh, there are even students still studying in the uh, study corner um, and last night, tens of thousands uh, poured into uh, the main site here with uh, student leaders inviting people to stay over and camp. Many of the artworks were removed and uh, archived by uh, several groups who worked overnight to take them down for safekeeping. Uh, but as much as the uh, chief executive uh, of Hong Kong, Su Wai Leung, has said that uh, people here uh, are ready for confrontation, there seems very little appetite, at least as far as I can see at the moment. And no sign of violence on either side so far today? No, things seem to be moving quite slowly. This is, of course, quite theatrical that we, we're going through this with uh, the bailiffs and this company that bought the injunction because police have the right at any point to sweep through the site as, as this is classed as an illegal assembly and always uh, uh, has been. So uh, it's under that prerogative that um, police are expected to uh, reopen the road at, at some stage uh, today. And as you say, they're, they're, they're threatening to return. They say they'll be back, which obviously would be a, a huge embarrassment um, to the authorities. What, what can they do to, to stop the protesters returning? Well, I'm just overlooking a barricade now. This is just the beginning. And uh, I think far from being an end, these are probably the birth pangs of a renewed democracy movement uh, in Hong Kong. And the original conveners... Uh, of this, uh, this, uh, this protest uh, promised an era of, of civil disobedience. So we may see more occupations and similar wildcat actions over the coming months. Uh, I imagine we'll also see a, a flood of legal cases as business, businesses try and uh, recoup some of the losses caused by the occupations. There's already been uh, some cases filed at the Small Claims Court. And, um, and legislators, of course, in Hong Kong over the next couple of months are, are due to vote on that plan you mentioned that uh, allows for one person, one vote here, but only with two or three pre-approved candidates. And uh, it seems that many of the uh, Democrats within the legislature, legislature uh, will, uh, will veto that plan. And, and I guess that, that, that's another potential flashpoint, isn't it, when, um, when those elections take place? Yeah, well, I mean, the elections are in 2017, but, um, you know, there, there are multiple flashpoints throughout the year mm. in Hong Kong. Uh, on the 1st of uh, January, there were often pro-democracy uh, protests, and uh, it's very much a city of protests. You know, there are, there are many hundreds, thousands even each year, and uh, whatever happens, um, the, the young pro-democracy activists uh, uh, on site here now have a collection of uh, symbols, ideas, and, and protest songs and strategies uh, to, to build upon what has been uh, a 30-year struggle um, for meaningful democracy in, in the territory. Tom Grundy in Hong Kong, thanks very much indeed for uh, joining us on Up All Night.